Hello wonderful people, very good morning from Thakka Bangladesh. Joy here with you, I'll be looking at a fragrance today. It needs more love. It's a sort of like a hidden gem, according to me, truly yours. Very humbly, by the way, not trying to hype it up. Remember this, I do not believe in hyping things up, uh, saying, oh, it got discontinued, go and get 50 bottles of it. Never ever do it. I'll tell you right before the review. Always remember this, always try to your nose. Do not fall for hype and do not blind buy. If you do that, you're gonna be just a flock of sheeps and stuff, right? You don't wanna be do that because you're a human being, right? You have some brains, right? You have your choice, you got your nose, you got your heart, right? Make sure you do your own purchase and make the decision so you do not regret later after blind buying because blind buying may cost you a lot of money, okay? Let me tell you right there. So anyway, the fragrance we'll be looking at today, House of David of Dav Duff. They are more popular for their cigars, coffee, many other products they have. So this is a designer house and it's called Silver Shadow Altitude. All right. I think I'm saying that right. This fragrance right here, it's something I'm calling it a hidden gem and I'll tell you very, very soon why. So this comes in 100 ml bottle, EDT concentration, nothing fancy going on, except there's some sort of dotted uh, design here. You can feel it, it's sort of raised, blue and silver sort of a uh, combination. So silver altitude kind of makes sense. At the back is the same up there nothing much bottom is like this okay and uh, this fragrance is uh, the house of david of the original one actually called silver shadow i don't know if it's a flanker to that but bottle design looks totally different so the bottle here is very beautiful chunky little heavy bottle look at this juice look at that bottle does it remind you of anything yes lots and lots and lots of summer freshes and this color of juice it's sort of like a dark blue Sort of like ocean water right and it looks like you know if you've been to bali you know if you've been to uh, let's say pataya if you've been to Langkawi, parhentian places like that in the world if you have traveled you know where they are so water where the sky meets the water or the water meets the sky that sort of uh, marine sort of juice very beautiful bottle very heavy got some design at the side nothing very fancy but basic done right bottom you get your batch code and sticker cap is sort of like a I would say snack fit, but always I suggest heavy bottles like this. Pick it up by the bottle, open it, and then you're not gonna regret it, right? The bottle is sort of like the cheaper side, light bottle, now uh, on plastic. I have this on my hand for some time. I have the dry down, and I also know the dry down very, very well now. Let me spray it and let you see how the sprayer works. Sprayers very, very decent, very good sprayer, okay? So, fragrances like this, yeah, this particular fragrance i think it's it's going i just checked amazon i think in uk amazon site it's more like a 23 pounds i guess it's 20 pounds 21 23 like that it floats so more like a 27 dollars below 30 dollars budget for a full 100 ml bottle so davidoff now talking about davidoff sorry just before i start one other thing this bottle reminds me of another presentation because presentation is important not very organized today this bottle is sort of like this bottle here bulgari blue blv if you put them side by side, you see both chunky, heavy bottles. Both of them have equal amount of weight and amount of glasses. It's like <laughs> incredible how much plus in both. But this bottle, its juice color is see-through. This one, however, is very eye-catching uh, blue color, okay? And yeah, the caps are a little bit different, but just want to show you, give you some idea. So as I go along, I'll show you a few other fragrances that's similar to this, but I think this is done better in many ways, okay? So... Uh, the fragrance okay let me put one more fragrance in the sink All right. so this fragrance official notes are on fragrantica are juniper berries uh, i think uh, bergamot or grapefruit either one and the middle you're gonna get some green coming up if they say some sort of a leaf i forgot what leaf is it lettuce or something they put sort of green notes and then cardamom very interesting and then they put on the base i think uh cedar uh, maybe some incense and some musk okay so basically that's the nose breakdown for it maybe i'm missing one or two but uh, <laughs> the thing is when you sniff a fragrance and you know like when you look at fragrant ticker you'll be like i don't get so many of those notes it happens quite often right um first of all this fragrance doesn't have so many reviews that's why i picked it up okay that's why i'm trying to tell you sometimes when you go to a fragrance mall like a shop and you just sniff different fragrances and suddenly you find a fragrance that is like totally unknown to you it's inexpensive very very cheap i was trying this at starly enterprise that day and then it totally 
I, I wrote it down in my page. It totally blew me away. It really caught me off guard. It's very, very sexy, very fresh, uplifting kind of a fragrance, right? Uh, so yeah, when I sniff it, what I'm gonna get is, I'll tell you, if you have been following the hype of uh, what Pacific Rock Moss, that sort of juice going on for that crazy pricing that you people are paying, I'm sorry, you know, $200 for a fragrance. I'm not gonna pay for a fresh fragrance, no matter it smells heavenly or not. I uh, just, to my, to my taste or to my liking i'm not that rich <laughs> also so yeah so if you're looking for a summer uplifting fragrance why pay 200 dollars? why not you pay 25 dollars, 30 dollars for a fragrance which is going to give you satisfaction this right here if you love these fragrances let me show you then i'll tell you what this smells like okay to me if you liked if you're a fan of azarochrome which is a very solid fragrance these are all solid fragrances good performance on this if you like versace menu fresh i don't have the bottle right in front of me if you liked Versace Puram or the signature. If you like, if you're a fan of this kind of uh, aquatic, you can see the color pattern of the juice is kind of same. Summer, uh, aquatic, fresh, floral, and then very big name in the community. Nautica is the voyage. You know, it has the green apple. It has some salty accord going on. Fresh, clean, crisp. But this one after reformulation, people saying they don't get the best performance. I don't think it ever been a beast on me at least. You know, I gone through two bottles of it. This is a nice fragrance, casual. It's a happy fragrance, you know, but affordable as well. And then the one that is going to be closest competitor to this is David of Cool Water. This fragrance has got some blue, some green going on, and it has been top seller for many, many years, many decades, I would say. And it smells really very, very good. You know, it's like aromatic, fougere, sort of like a green, blue kind of fragrance. Got some lavender going on. So now, compared to those coming here, when I stepped it for the first time, you know, I tested it. I'm like, wow. What is this fragrance, man? The opening blew me away. The opening is so beautiful. It's exactly like the juice color you see here. Okay, if you see the blue right here, it's gonna be like that. Okay, it's a blue opening. And I really, really, I thought there was some fruits in it. You know, I was like, what is it? It's some sort of berry, blueberry, some sort of, you know, berries. Then I looked at fragrant ticket, then I saw juniper berries. Then I'm like, yeah, spot on. I think juniper berries also is in a why on the YSL fragrance. I forgot the name. I think it was a. Uh, Opium, maybe it has juniper berries, and also I think Silver Mountain Water, maybe perhaps I'm not sure if it's got black currant or juniper, but the juniper berry note is very strong. So that first thing, strong thing about this is a very good last lasting power on this fragrance, and it has a very good performer for fragrance. Not a beast mode. If you know this one, I this is the last fragrance that I picked up. This is Azaro Chrome Legend, and this is a legendary fragrance. You know, I'm not gonna say and this performs better than this. This is a beast mode for all year round. I love this fragrance. You know, this is affordable, 125 ml juice, very solid fragrances, you know, fragrance this one. You cannot, this one cannot beat the performance of it, but smell, this one will take the crown of all these fragrances. Maybe Versace Purim smells a little better, but this one performs better. <laughs> so you see, this has that combination going on. And I'm pretty sure I read comments here and there today in my group. Some people say I saw it at, I think, one of the brother Ahmed, uh, he said he saw it in one of the duty-free airports and he sniffed it, he liked it, didn't pick it up and he regrets it. One guy said I tried it at the UK mall or some mall, I didn't buy it and next day I went there it was sold out. So it happens. So if you like something, if you can afford it, better get it, give it some time and maybe get it. If you cannot get it later, get it then. I absolutely loved it. I got it immediately the day after, you know, this is such a pleasant fragrance. I get that berries, juniper berries, and it starts getting a little bit green after 15 minutes or so. It's gonna go very strong, if you know. This Isimiyake line, it has some sort of, you know, feel of Le Bleu de Seau Fresh, which is lovely. Doesn't smell like that exactly, but the greenness, it almost feels like there's some sort of rosemary present in this. It's very sharp, you know. So the green leaf note, they're putting some vegetal notes, and it makes, it gives that herbal touch. So it's a blue slash green fragrance. And none of it is doing overdoing it. Like it's not too blue, it's not too salty, it's not uh, too peppery, it's not too fruity. It's just the perfect balance. That's where this fragrance fits the bill perfectly. Those people who are not looking for anything complicated, just want to smell nice, going for work, sound professional for the hot summer's day, spring day, you know, it's just the daytime. This is ideal fragrance for those men. Any age can wear this. It smells so darn good, guys, seriously. If you, if you smell it, you'll know. It has some peppery kick, it has some aquatic feel, it has some fruity feel, and it's just crisp, clean, aromatic. Not that many reviews on this. I just don't understand why. It just flew under the radar. You know, I saw my one of my favorite reviewers doing a fragrance review on this. That was a weird review, but spot on. So guys, 
try it out you know i'm not trying to hype it up it's a cheapy if you can find it for 20 dollars odd and stuff sometimes you can score try it out you don't have much to lose you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars always trying to smell nice you can spend less you can get good deals on it right so this is ideal any age you can wear this almost all year round i think it has that potency good performance solid i would give it eight out of ten uh versatility also eight nine out of ten smell believe it or not i'm gonna give this 10 right there you know i don't give 10 to all the fragrances i'm gonna give this 10 that good it goes green it goes a little bit woody and the base is sort of like musk it's very modern it's very masculine it's very powerful it takes control but not arrogant guy confidence guy confident guy you know so professional guys try it out i mean today i sent decans to two guys you know that's why the bottle a little bit down many of you ask me why your bottles are so empty i do a small decan project in bangladesh so i'm sharing my fragrances with committee members helping them out to s decide if you want to buy a full bottle or not it's just i'm doing uh with my <laughs> spare time right so this fragrance trust me you gotta try this i'm not gonna say go and blind buy five bottles of it never do that but try it out you know davidoff is a brand no one everybody ignores uh it's it's not right sometimes you find kelvin klein you find uh, brands like i don't know gucci uh dunhill you know you find surprising fragrances good stuff right here so overall i think compliment garners is gonna get good compliments gonna look nice on your shelf and it looks as nice as the other bottles if you put next to nautica's voyage you know just color you cannot go wrong reminds me a little bit of chrome uh united that sort of bottle but very nice investment i would say right so overall i'm gonna give this fragrance nine out of ten why because it caught me off guard I really like the smell performs well cheap and this is a hidden gem according to me right so davidoff silver shade silver shade yes silver shadow sorry altitude try it out give it some love you will not regret it most probably right but do not blind by take care guys i'll talk to you soon good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. bye bye